So the, there's two different bases of um, sequences, ladies and gentlemen, that we're going to be talking about, which is finite and infinite, all right? And the base is really between those two is we're going to be talking about a sequences, which is going to be pretty much a set of numbers. So finite is going to mean there's going to be a selected number of those numbers. And we'll kind of get more into this as well. But let's just say here is an example of a finite sequence. There's only four numbers in the sequence. There's only four numbers in the sequence. And we can also see that there is going to be a pattern, which I'll talk about a little bit in a second. Then there's the infinite, which is also going to be the same thing. There's going to be a pattern with a set of numbers, but this one is going to continue on and on forever. And for instance, we could have an example like this. Okay, For each of these, you guys can kind of see there's a pretty basic pattern, right? I'm just doing a very simple one. However, to represent an infinite sequence, we're just going to add little dots. All right. And what the dots are going to tell you is that this pattern is going to go on and on and on forever. All right? Will, if you'll flip that upside down, that'd be greatly appreciated. Now, the next thing we're going to be talking about, yes? So that has a stopping point? Stop Infinite does not have a stopping point. Finite does have a stopping point. Okay. So now what we're going to be talking about is a kind of little bit going back to, um, actually, let's just hold it off from there. And then I'll get back into uh, sequences rules.